Hello. You may not know me, but I have waited all day to see you. My name is Nana, and I'm here to help you learn to love art just as much as we do. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to learn, and we are going to draw and paint, yes, paint, a very simple subject today. Now, let me explain to you why I say paint. This is paint. I know, I know it's not wet and dripping down my fingers. No, this is a pastel stick and it is ground up dried paint mixed together with a fixative, which is sort of like a glue, and they put it into a mold and let it dry again, and you have a nice hard, somewhat hard, piece of chalk. So when I say we're going to paint, that's what I mean. We're going to paint because this is paint. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit about your supplies and what you might need to get together. I'm going to go slowly so you won't be running around the room going, where is it, where is it, okay? We have plain construction paper. Now this is black. Um, if you don't have black construction paper, it's okay. You're just fine. You can use dark blue, green, purple, or even white. If you have to use a piece of white paper, you would switch your color of drawing and painting from a white to a black. Okay? Now, let's see. I have my construction paper and a, another piece underneath it to help hold the paper down. Because sometimes we get very excited and the paper just moves all over the table. These are the colors that I have chosen today. Now I have to apologize. We use our uh, pastels a lot, so they're a little bit dirty. This, <laughs> believe it or not, is a red. Okay, I have white, an aqua, red, a pale blue, yes, that's pale blue, and a pink. And then we have another, we have a box here of all different kinds of colors, and, and we use them a lot, as you can see. They're very dirty, and we will clean them soon. All right, this is a baby wipe. If you don't have these, you can get a paper towel and make it damp, and it's to clean the pastel dust off of your fingers so you can go from this color to this color and not mix it up, okay? That's basically all you need. Before we get started, I want you to tell me where you are from. Are you from the United States? Are you from overseas? We've had people from South America and from uh, the Isle of Man in the Irish Sea. We've had folks from Italy and uh, from India. But if you're from the United States, that's just fine too. If you're, please let us know what city you live in or what city you're near. And we want to see your artwork when you get finished. So I want you to share a photo here in the comments or on Instagram. And you can use the hashtag, you are an artist, and or you can tag it, uh, uh, chalk, chalk pastel. So we won't we won't miss it. Okay, let's 
get started. Now, we are going to be painting a spider web today. Now, this spider web is going to be special because it is going to be early in the morning and there'll be dew drops all over the spider web. And when the sun comes up, they will sparkle like diamonds. So let's get started. Now, instead of putting the, the spider web right here smack in the middle of this paper, let's just put it a little bit up this way. And I've started with a tiny little circle. Okay, and then we'll do another circle and another circle. See, they keep getting a little bit bigger every time. And then just for good measure, we'll have another circle. Okay, and then very simply, we're going to start putting her web out. Now, if you can see, it starts out very close here at the center of her web. And it gets bigger as we go out. Now, spiders love to attach right there in the corner. So be sure you try to get part of the web in the corner. And it does, you don't need a ruler. She doesn't have a ruler when she makes her web, even though they are incredibly beautiful and wonderfully engineered. Okay. Still going. Now, it looks almost like a sunburst. I know. There we go. Now, we're going to weave her web right now. So I'm just going to start here. It looks almost like an upside down smile. And we'll have another one, and another one, and another one. And over here, I'm going to start there and there. Yeah, I think you get the idea. Be sure you leave some of these to where they can attach. You don't, you can bring the web all the way down, but then you kind of lose where the spider is going to be able to attach it and the web might just blow away even though she is a master spiders are at construct construction okay now this one you remember it goes right into the corner and that's her favorite place she puts her very first part of the web there so you've got these upside down smiles and now take your time with this. Don't just hurry through. Make it just really pretty. You see there, there's some short ones here and then a long one there. The more time you take, the prettier it's going to be. Now we're going to give you the option when we get finished with the web 
of putting a spider on the web. That's up to you. Now this one is going to be a short one. See, she's got it attached over here. So I'm going to stop right there with that one. And here we go. This is a nice big fat one. get the idea we're making a big enough net web to I think even Charlotte would love this has anyone read Charlotte's web I know okay now we're essentially finished with the web. But remember, I told you at the beginning, this is early, early in the morning, and we're going to put dew drops on the web. And you just take your white, if you've got black or dark colored paper, and you just make a circle like this. Now, I've seen pictures from National Geographic to where, you know, the spider web itself is just colored with the, covered with the dew drops. But it's up to you. You're the artist of this. So if you had rather not have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of dew drops, then it's fine, it's okay, you say. I'm just going to put some on every bit of the web. That's wonderful too, they'll just sparkle. And you can show your family and they'll be so surprised. You'll have to share with them. now. These are going to be special dewdrops. And I will show you how you can make them look even more special. Now I'm hurrying just a little bit. And up here in this short part of the web, I think I'll go over here for a little bit. Now, I'm not going to put dew drops on every one of this over here. I think the dew was, was really heavy down this way and not so much up here. What do you think? You can make up your own story about this spider and she has to wait for the sun to come up to where the sun will dry up all of the dew on her web. All right, now even here in the middle, we'll put some. All right. I think I have enough dew drops. I'm going to put one more right there. Now, this is where I think the fun starts. Now, you have to kind of pretend. This web is going to be beside a rose bush or some zinnias or some beautiful flowers. And this is water that is going to reflect the color that it's near. So I'm going to take this red pastel and I'm going to do this right at the bottom of the dewdrop. Look, I have a happy smile. 
that's the reflection from a pretend flower or even the house or a car, but it's colored red. Okay, and I'm going to put a couple of red reflections here and there. We have other colors, so don't just color all of your dewdrops red, even though red is one of my favorite colors. I think that's enough red. Maybe one more right there. All right, now, what is better than an aqua one? Oh my goodness, we'll have to think up a story about what is near to this. It could be a lake or the ocean or let's see, it could be a plant also. Can you see? They're reflected. I think I'll even put one up here. All right. Remember, don't color them all the same color. Use your imagination. Now, how about a pink one? Now this pink really shines. This looks almost like a magical Christmas tree or that the spider has decorated it just for us. There. Now, I'm going to finish up with a light blue. Yes, that really is light blue. And again, Nana needs to clean her pastels. But we use them all the time. We have such fun. We learn how to draw things and are so proud when we can say, you're an artist. Look at what you've done. There. Now. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is. And you've done it yourself. You have been the artist. Now take your favorite color of pastel. Today, I'm going to say, this is mine. I almost forgot the spider. <laughs> We're going to put a spider on here. It's optional. Yes. People. If you don't want to put a spider on, you don't have to. Uh, I think I'll put her here. And she is going to be bright orange. Okay. And she's going to hold on tight because she doesn't really want to get wet. But she will. And there's your spider. And I'm going to put a black dot right there. Now, if you don't want to put a spider there, then don't worry about it. You don't have to. It's up to you. So, back to your favorite pastel. Then down here, where you don't disturb the, the web, Sign your name, very small. Because there's not another Nana here at the table, I'm just gonna put an N for Nana. And then take your painting, remember, it's a painting, and on the back, name your painting, Spiderweb, or Spider and Do. You decide what you want to call it and put today's date and then flip it back over and go and show it to your family and your friends and put it in a 
place of honor, like your refrigerator door or in your room. Hang it up so you can see it and you will know what we always say. You are an artist. Thank you for joining us and thank you Hip Homeschool Moms for having us here.